Hello everyone, this is Thamir Selvi. I'm from South India, Bangalore city. So this tutorial is all about mobile photo editing and today we'll be seeing some easy techniques on how to color grade your pictures in your phone. The best applications that I would suggest for color grading your images is Photoshop Express and Lightroom. Both these applications are from Adobe and nothing to worry, both these applications have very easy and simple user interface. So let's get started. So I have this beautiful image that I clicked on my phone. It's a sunset from my terrace. I'm going to edit this image in Photoshop Express and here I go so when you open Photoshop Express there are these set of presets they have given you they are more like filters that you can use I am going to use this filter called as vibrant which is actually going to boost up the colors of my image so uh, I'm gonna adjust the intensity of this preset and uh, coming to the next panel you have these light leaks bokehs grunge raindrops papers which is more like overlays uh, but I'm not going to use them anyway and here in the next panel you have the crop, rotate, transform and here's the next panel that is the adjust panel where you have all this brightness, contrast, shadow, split tone, vignette, blur, everything. So the first thing that I'm going to do is this option called as dehaze. Dehaze is something that is going to give more contrast and it's going to boost up my colors. It's going to make my colors look rich and you can see how, how beautiful it looks. I'm going to reduce some highlights too. Yep. Now I'm going to get into the split tone and I'm going to give colors to my shadows and highlights. So let me see. Mm. I think I'm going to give an orangish kind of a tone for my highlights and there you go the clouds have this real orange color and I'm gonna leave my shadows plain cool the next thing is the vignette the vignette is more like the master touch of any image <laughs> here it goes so this is this is the difference of the original image and the edited image so this is one way how you can edit any of your landscape images which is going to give a brilliant color scheme to your sky I also color grade my images in Lightroom. Let's see how Lightroom works and how I'm going to edit my image in Lightroom. So I have the selfie of myself and uh, how lucky I have a bird in my image. So I'm going to edit this in Lightroom. So I have imported the image in Lightroom. So even in Lightroom you have these various options like presets, light, color, FX, detail and all that. So first let us get into the light. And here's your exposure that is the brightness contrast and all that I'm going to reduce some highlights and yeah the shadows whites and blacks so the next thing that I'm going to do is the color on the top right corner of the color panel you have an option called mix when you get into the mix you have these different colors that you can actually control in your image I'm going to go to blue because the sky is blue and I'm going to change the hue of the blue so now you can see that the blue is actually changing I'm going to give it some saturation and reduce the luminance when I reduce a lot of this luminance there is there is some kind of a patch happening in the backdrop to avoid that I'm not going to edit my image to an extreme where the pixels are going to break I'm just going to limit myself until it looks decent and the wing it always the wing it so the next thing that we're going to see is the set of presets that this application has so there are there are some really brilliant presets and one of my favorite preset is modern 8. i can also adjust the intensity of the preset yep and here it is so this is the original image and this is uh, our uh, editor uh, how I edit my images in Lightroom. The color mix panel is really really helpful to pick each and every color in your frame and edit them separately without affecting the other color. Sometimes you can use it like for example you have clicked an image where a person is holding an umbrella that is red in color. To make the image look creative you can get into the color mix panel. You can decrease the saturation of each and every color in the frame and retain the saturation of red color alone. 
so in that case everything else is going to be in black and white and only the umbrella is going to be red in color so you can think about multiple ideas like these and make your images look interesting so coming to my posts on instagram most of you have asked me how do you really give that moody tone to most of your images i edit those images in lightroom so now you're going to quickly see how i do that on lightroom techniques were useful and if you have edited your images with the techniques that I gave you do tag me on Instagram this is my Instagram ID I have more techniques for you guys like how to do skin retouching and double exposure in your phone stay tuned for the next video where I'll be teaching you some cool techniques about skin retouching and double exposure and thank you so much for 100k followers on Instagram Instagram yeah not on YouTube yet <laughs> so if you like this video do hit the like button and spank the subscribe button signing off bye uh -huh. Uh -huh.